Hello and welcome to the LARP Guide. In this video, we'll be looking at how to make a fantasy costume on a budget. Okay, let's get straight into it. Trousers. When it comes to this base layer, it is one of the most important to make sure you get the correct size. Spend some time measuring yourself before shopping online to avoid disappointment. I would also highly recommend an elasticated waist as over the years this has saved me tons of money as my waist size has fluctuated due to health kicks and diets. If you are planning on participating in combat, I would also highly advise contacting the online store and asking them what trousers they would recommend, as some pairs may not be suited to rapid movement and stretching. To save some money on this layer, if you have some plain black trousers or combat trousers knocking around the house, these could be used as a substitute, but I would highly advise investing in a tabard to help cover these areas up and draw attention away from them. LARP shirt. This base layer is where you get to add some wow factor into your costume without a massive price tag attached to it. There are loads of options available to you with various frilly bits and styles that can make you very fantasy LARP setting appropriate. There are some cheap options available for under £20, but I advise looking into the material being used. You want your shirt to last and to be the focus point of your costume, so having a shiny polyester shirt may not be the way to go. But don't let that discourage you from using that option if that is what your budget can afford. As I've said in other videos, kit shaming is not tolerated within the LARP community. And as long as you are meeting the game's brief and rules, then what you have is amazing. With just the LARP shirt and trousers, you would be good to go to a fantasy LARP. So from this point on, it's all about enhancing your costume and increasing that wow factor. Before I get into the next section of the video, I would like to give my I'm Still Here viewers, James Bubsby, Nose Render, and Dark Corks, a massive thank you for watching my last video to the end and seeing my secret message. Thank you for your support, kind words, and messages of advice for the community. Okay, let's look at ways to enhance your costume. Tabard. For me, this is one of the best investments you can make for your fantasy LARP costume. It helps bring your other elements together and really helps sell that fantasy look. Plus, it helps cover up areas like if you were using those plain black trousers. Belt. I must admit it was years into LARPing before I bought myself a LARP style belt. I had just used a plain leather belt I bought from a local clothes shop up until this point. And to be honest, I thought it looked perfectly fine. You can get some amazing looking belts with fancy ends and buckles, but we are talking about a budget costume here. So this is one of those areas you can 100% save yourself some cash. Pouches. I would recommend if your trousers don't have pockets on them to invest in at least one pouch. They are relatively cheap, look amazing, and most importantly, hold all of your stuff, as then you don't have to worry about carrying it. This may sound a bit stupid and obvious, but trust me on this, most LARPs give their players some form of handouts, from in-game resources, body cards, rule sheets, character sheets, and well, much, much more. So having some place to put all of this is very handy. I personally have one large pouch, a money pouch, and then a couple of smaller ones, all of which can be done up. This is very important when investing in a pouch, as there is nothing worse than losing all your stuff as you're getting up off the floor or running. Thermals. Okay, this is a little cheeky trick. When you start factoring in additional layers to a costume to help with those colder events, the price of the costume can start to get very high very fast. Most cloaks start at about £40 and then go up in price from there. And although they do offer some protection from the elements and give you some warmth, they're not perfect. So my advice would be 
to put layers on under your costume and not over it to help with those colder events. Some thermals can do wonders for this, keeping yourself nice and warm and are relatively cheap. Okay, you should have by now a good idea on how to get together the items needed to make an amazing fantasy looking costume. So what comes next? How can you make it look even better? Details, my friends, details. You don't have to break the bank to add some little extras to your costume to make it look lived in and alive. Maybe it's a patch of sonal material over a blood stain to look like it's been put there to cover up an old stab wound. Maybe some jewellery or a pendant. A strip of material that's tied to your belt that has a poem on it, of course, given to you by a long lost lover before you set off for war. It's all of these little details that you build up over time that will make your costume start to look and feel real. I used to go to Chow's Emporium at the start of every Maelstrom event and purchase some fake jewellery to add to my costume. Over the years, my costume got more and more elaborate with these little details, but the cost was only a couple of pounds here and there. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, let your imagination run wild. Add life to your costume from this point onwards. But always remember, no matter how much or little you have to spend, you look amazing. And with that, thank you all for joining me. I love you all and goodbye. Yeah.